If it takes one and a half yards of material to make two pillows, how much material is required to make five pillows? Well, this is a problem about proportions. So, if, for example, it said you can get two sodas for four dollars, then ten sodas is going to be how many dollars? So there's a couple of ways that you can do that. One, you could say, well, just break this down. If two sodas is four dollars, that means that they're two dollars a piece. If they're two dollars a piece and you get ten of them, that's going to be twenty bucks. Another way you can do it is say two sodas was four dollars. So I'm now making a proportion out of it, thus I can make a an equation. Then what I do is say, all right, now I want to know about 10 sodas. So this equal is basically saying the time that this, from the time that this happened until the time that this happened, the price of sodas did not change. So it's going to be proportional. If two of them cost $4, 10 of them will cost X dollars. Or if I take the words away and simplify it, it's just 2 over 4 equals 10 over x. And then after that, cross multiply. So this direction would give me 2x. This direction 4 times 10 is 40. Then there's just one small step. That is to get rid of this 2. You divide both sides by 2, since right now it's multiplying. To get rid of it, you have to do the opposite. Divide by 2, divide by 2. 40 divided by 2 is $20. Which is makes sense. That's what we got before when I said 2 sodas is 4 bucks. That means these sodas cost $2 a piece. If they cost $2 a piece and you're getting 10 of them, well, that's going to be $20. So we're going to do the problem given this way with these proportions, these fractions that equal to each other. Notice the thing that's important is it goes soda dollar equals soda dollar. You just have to be consistent. I could have gone dollar over soda, dollar over soda. Just be consistent. Do the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. So in here we've got yards of material instead of sodas. And I've got pillows instead of dollars. So for the proportion, this would be yards of material makes however many pillows. And then you do the same thing. Yards of material makes however many pillows. So that's the consistent part I was talking about. Yards over pillows equals yards over pillows. Now start filling in the information. So one and a half makes two pillows. How much material? So this I don't know. I'll use X to make five pillows. Or you can drop the words away after this and it would be one and a half over two equals X over five. So next comes the cross multiplication. So we'd have this direction would be 2x. This direction would be 5 times 1 and a half. So let's see. With 1 and a half, I could either make this into a improper fraction. So that would mean multiply this direction, 2 times 1 is 2, add this direction, this would be 3 halves. But when you're talking about um, 
a situation like this, we could do that. I was going to suggest perhaps we should change this to decimals, but the question itself didn't use decimals, so I guess that's what they prefer. I guess they prefer fractions. So we can, we'll go ahead and use fractions. So one and a half means one plus a half. And you could do this idea of converting it, multiply these two, the two times one, so that's two, and then whatever you get, add it to the top, and that's three. So it's three over two inside the parentheses. Or you could do it this way. In here, get a common denominator. So a one means a two over two. And then once you've got the common denominator, this is going to be over two. And two plus one, that's three. So either way, it's three over two. Then to multiply, Essentially what we're doing is multiplying fractions because the 5 could be viewed as 5 over 1. The rule for multiplying fractions is you multiply on the top, 15. You multiply on the bottom, 2. Then there's just one last step and that is to get rid of this 2, divide both sides by 2. So that means Divide by 2, put a 2 in the denominator. Divide by 2 puts a, another 2 in the denominator. So then x is 15 fourths. Now we got a little more work to do because if I were to go to my grandma and ask her to sew 15 fourths pillows, she would probably just throw a pillow at me. we got to figure out how many pillows would that Oh, wait a second, that's not pillows, that's good thing I wrote it down. X is standing for yards of material. So 15 fourths of a yard. 15 fourths. Well, let's see, a four won't divide into a 15, but if I make this a mixed number, four will go into it three times. That would make a 12. That means the remainder is three, so it's three and three quarters yards. Oh, I see. Three and three quarters yards material. 